Hey, good afternoon. How are all my beautiful Pisces soul family members out there doing? I hope you're all doing great and amazing today. Welcome to your tarot reading. My name is Morty and welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. Uh, today I thought I would do a tarot reading for the sign of Pisces and this will be for mid to late August of 2019. So Pisces, we just want to see what the energies look like ahead of you. See if we can better prepare you on stepping into this time so that you can maximize your experience. <clears throat> give you the opportunity to be able to have a forecast on how you can experience more joy and happiness and love and abundance in your life. So Pisces is a beautiful zodiac sign. Uh, your sun sign may be Pisces or your moon or rising may be Pisces or you could just be checking up on a Pisces or just intuitively guided to be here. Either way I'm very happy to have you here. Uh, Pisces, uh, one of the, you're in the, located in the 12th house ruled by Neptune, I believe. Um, your sun sign may be Pisces or your moon arising. Uh, but one of, the th one of the great characteristics about Pisces is um, of the zodiac signs, Pisces is probably the most intuitive, right? Uh, so the most connected to that intuition that we all, that all of us value so much. Uh, Pisces are very intuitive and artistic and kind, compassionate, sensible and sensitive to others uh, very very caring and loving energy um, you make great listeners Pisces can be fantastic friends and friendships as well as relationships all right so Pisces uh, today is I'll give you the date it's August the 13th and the time is 4 34 p.m. The music that I have playing in the background of your reading is mindfulness music for positive energy. Uh, just some good soothing vibes. Prior to starting your tarot reading, I want to tap the crystal healing bowl. Just let it sing to us for a moment. This is a perfect time for us to be able to remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading and just put ourselves, allow ourselves to step into a space of just being able to listen and to receive and to be open to receiving the messages that may be meant for you to hear in today's tarot reading. Keeping in mind, of course, that this reading will not be for every Pisces, but it will be for many of you. So you just have to kind of stick around and see if the energies resonate. Also, this is a general reading as for the collective. It's not a personal reading. I do provide personal readings. In fact, I'm running a special this month of $50 and I send you your own private link to your own 30 minute recording of uh, your personal tarot reading. Uh, and it's an, a tarot reading that pertains to you specifically, so it gets much more interesting, uh, always does. Anyways, um, but I would love to be able to, if you're interested in getting a private reading or personal reading, I'd love to provide that to you. Just send me an email at tarotloveandabundance at gmail. Uh, you'll see it in the description below. And I also just wanted to thank all of you for all the love and the support that you share with me here on this channel, the beautiful comments and the likes and subscribes, the views, um, as well as the beautiful donations um, to the channel. This is uh, what I do, this is how I make my living, so how I, how I take care of myself and others. So I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to be able to take something that I feel may be of value to others and to be able to share it and share it in this beautiful YouTube format where you can just put it out there for free. Connect with your soul family members and you know bring the, this beautiful group together on this channel. So thank you so much. Okay, Pisces. end that was really nice here I hope it came through beautifully on your end okay so Pisces first thing we want to do is pull an affirmation card for you just to see which affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear taking us into your tarot reading today pre-shuffle the decks but I like to shuffle them one more time and then I split the deck three times and pull the bottom card and that tells us your affirmation okay beautiful 
Pisces, your affirmation is health. The number 30, uh, which reduces to a three. Uh, three is a powerful number behind you know, manifestation and creation. Mother Earth, sweet Mother Earth bright, bring to me your health and might. Mother Earth, sweet Mother Earth bright, bring to me your health and might. Mother Earth, sweet Mother Earth bright, bring to me your health and might. Okay, so normally I wouldn't necessarily read from the guidebook about this affirmation, um, but this is a this is an important affirmation. You know, this is about our health. Um, so when this affirmation comes up, uh, sometimes I feel a little bit of, of importance to kind of emphasize the message that may be connected to this affirmation for you, Pisces. So I want to just read to us real quickly from the guidebook. And just listen closely for any of these energies or little nuggets of truth that may resonate with you. Um, but yeah, for Pisces, health is something is, uh, that's very important to be mindful of, right? Stepping into second half of August. Health is always, or Pisces, health is always, a desire, is always desirable. And when we have experienced that glow of true health, we have often just experienced it as a natural state of being. It is the absence that most often teaches us what health is. This spell will help you to bring good health to yourself, and if someone you care for is ill, you may also cast the spell on their behalf. If you were chosen by the spell, you are being gently reminded that you can help yourself or a person you feel concerned for. Please put any fear you feel aside and cast yourself or on behalf of this other person. It is always best to seek their consent first. However, if this is not possible, you may simply work this energetic magic on their behalf, asking for the highest good of all concerned. If you chose to spell yourself, you may already know that help is available, so choose to cast with an open heart and mind, and be amazed at the health and vitality this magic will bring. The universe loves you and wishes to support you, so allow it to bring you healthy energy to you and those you care about through this beautiful spell. Okay, so it's a fantastic affirmation and a meaningful affirmation. Pisces. So that's why I wanted to read to us from the guidebook about it. Um, because some of you, you, know, you may be very mindful of your health right now, working through some health issues, or you may know somebody close to you in your life who's, who's going through that struggle. Right? And this affirmation, reading it three times, just I like to think it creates a stronger manifestation for you in your life. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on in your world. First thing we want to do, is see what the opening en energy is, taking us into your tarot reading today. All right, interesting, Pisces. Your opening energy, taking us into your tarot reading, is the unknown card, which it is kind of interesting because this is the only tarot set I'm aware of that has a card in it called the unknown card. So wherever this card falls, whatever questions or other cards, energies it may be connected to, it means that the answer is not meant to be known. So it's just interesting that it'd be the energy taking us into your reading. Um, can't put my finger on that quite yet, so I'll need to like pull more cards and get further into your reading before we can see exactly what that represents. All right, Pisces. Okay. So the next energy showing up in your tarot reading, Pisces, is the Eight of Swords. Uh, and Eight of Swords, is a, it's a limiting energy, right? It's representing the energy of fear, uh, symbolized by the image on this card. She appears to be bound by these ravens, right? Held captive by these, uh, these ropes and, and surrounded by these swords. She wears a blindfold, but if her binds are pretty loose. If she could wiggle herself free, remove her blindfold, and step away from the swords. But that's what it takes to step beyond this, this energy of, of fear, or worry, or concern. Okay, Pisces. We have another eight. We now have the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is a good energy. 
So what this energy represents by itself is speed and movement, right? So typically it'll represent something that's coming into your life pretty quickly, Pisces. Pull more cards and we'll know exactly what this is, what it's connected to. Uh, you see eight unicorns that are charging down this mountain, right? Coming in quickly, there's no stopping them. Pisces. Showing up at the center of your tarot reading today is the Hermit card, which is also the card of Virgo. Right? So some of you may have a Virgo in your life. If so, playing a pretty significant role. This energy showing up at the center of your tarot reading puts some importance on it. In terms of the message right, that's meant in your reading, uh, and this is about seeking solitude. This is about <clears throat> doing what the Hermit does. It sits on the side of this mountain, away from the noise and the chatter of the world, right? Overlooks the world in front of it. And she asks the important questions in life. And those answers come from within, that inner feeling. So this is about getting away from the noise and the chatter of the world, but also the noise of our mind, right? Opinions and judgments, as well as fears, right? Uh, being able to remove ourselves from that, to open ourselves up, to be able to connect connect with feelings for guidance and direction. Okay, Pisces, coming in next, we have the Nine of Swords. Uh, Pisces, what's going on in your, in your life? Uh, Nine of Swords is a limiting energy, right? It's kind of the elevated version of the Eight of Cup, or Eight of Swords, which is fears, worries, concerns, but this is to the point to where it's affecting sleep, possibly, for, for many of you. Um, eight swords that are perched up in the ground and there's eight ravens on top of each the ninth sword lies right here and this raven's just waiting for her to pick it up that's what she needs to do in order to allow this energy to pass so yeah Pisces I mean what's showing up in your reading uh, is you know fears and worries and concerns yeah right? those are some limiting energies energies that you know if this reading's resonating with you that you'll be aware of but we're gonna <clears throat> we're on we're on the journey of, of seeing exactly how we move our way out of these energies right how how we, we turn on the brightness all right pisces tell us more okay coming in next to the Nine of Swords, we have the Emperor card, which is the card of Aries. So some of you may have an Aries in your life, uh, playing a significant role. You may be in a relationship with an Aries. Uh, this is a good energy, right? This is a kind of energy that shows up. The Emperor knows that he has people counting on him, right? So this is a trusted energy. He holds the world that he reigns in the palm of his hand. He wears the horn of the ram for power and strength, he stands sure-footed on top of this hill. So this is about, you know, you could have an Aries in your life or this could represent the energy of really being able to obtain your power, uh, of really feeling that, feeling that connection. Okay, Pisces, coming in next we have the King of Wands, and the King of Wands is coming in attached to the Eight of Swords. Uh, so the energy of worry and concern. King of Wands is a great energy, right? Because it represents the energy of fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? So this could be connected to that Emperor card. His companion is the Lion, representing power and strength. The other is the Dragon, representing speed and fire. So this energy is a, it's a confident energy, right? It's not an energy that's worried or concerned about anything it's an energy that knows what it wants right and knows how what it needs to do to go about to obtain it so very good energy has kind of a magnetic charm to it the ability to sweep both men and women off their feet
All right, Pisces, tell us more. Okay, beautiful. Okay, coming in next in your tarot reading is the Empress card. And the Empress card is coming in attached to the Eight of Wands. Uh, Eight of Wands representing its speed and that movement. And the Empress card, it's a beautiful energy as it represents uh, the energy of balance, right? of being able to recognize your value and your worth. Uh, for some, you notice that the Empress is pregnant with child, right? So uh, for some, you may be experiencing pregnancy. And if so, congratulations. Uh, but this is all about rebirth and newness. The Empress is the mother of all things earthly, right? representing unconditional love to everybody around her. What allows her to rec to feel that unconditional love and to share it with everybody else is that she's first learned to recognize and feel that same sense of self-love within herself first. And that's what allows her the opportunity to be able to share it with everybody else. Right? So this is recognizing your value and your worth, which is a beautiful thing, Pisces. And it appears to be the energy appears to be coming in quickly for many of you. Okay, Pisces, coming in next and showing up at the center of your tarot reading, attached to the Hermit card, the card of Virgo, is the Three of Swords. Um, so it's beginning to make sense now, showing up at the center of your tarot reading, put some emphasis on this energy. As the Three of Swords represents heartbreak, loss, sadness, grief. So Pisces, I feel that many of you have probably went through and experienced this recently, right? Maybe in the middle of it right now. Uh, feeling this grief and this pain uh, and this sadness it will pass right it does pass your 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 reading shows that it passes right but this is I think also the energy that's connected to the eight and nine of swords you know the fear and the worries and the concerns okay Pisces coming in next and attached to the Nine of Swords, we have the Six of Cups. Uh, Six of Cups is a good energy, representing the energy of looking back on memories of the past, right? These are good memories, memories that serve you well. These are times of, you know, times of security and stability, of happiness and joy and bliss. Uh, looking back on those times, and those times strengthen you. It's attached to the Nine of Swords, representing that, that energy of fear and worry so I feel like that's one of the things that really I think help you Pisces to pull out of these fears and worries looking back on not the pain of the past but the, the positive experiences those good times and those those and being able to connect yourself with those good fulfilling positive promoting kind of energies Okay, Pisces, coming in next and attached to the Emperor card, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, aces are beginnings, right? So this is a tangible beginning that you can feel as it's pentacle. Notice the heart right here, right? And the colors really pop out to me here in your reading today, some Pisces. And the colors are pinks and yellows to me. They represent unconditional love and healing. Right. So I feel like for many of you that are stepping into this beginning, you know, it's going to be a beginning where you're, you have your power back, you feel comfortable in your skin, you've accepted the circumstances, now you're ready to move forward. And with that comes a lot of unconditional love and healing that you get to experience along with this beginning. Okay, Pisces, perfect. Energy taking us out of your tarot reading today is the Wheel of Fortune, right? Which is a beautiful energy, representing the energy of change. Right? So this is the universe letting you know that you can expect change coming into your life, right? 
the, at least the energies Pisces are resonating ahead of you for change right because if many of you are kind of stuck in this limiting energy of the fear and the worry the concern possibly connected to this three of swords right this whatever it was heartbreak loss um, of some sort painful you felt all of it um, if you're open and willing right to change to accept change um, and I'm gonna tell you how you go about it in your tarot reading that change comes into you right and it's welcome change okay Pisces I have your tarot reading done now at least the cards laid out now I need to take a moment and look at the cards and see where they are in terms of relationship to one another and I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share by way of message so give me just a moment I'll come right back and I'll share your whole reading with you start to finish um, I just keep the recording going so you can enjoy the soothing sounds of the background music for a moment or you can fast forward totally up to you Okay, Pisces, I think I have it here for you. You guys have a beautiful reading. Um, I've had the opportunity to get pulled into your reading and be able to kind of feel and experience some of the energies that, that are connected to Pisces here in this, in this tarot reading. Um, and I feel like you guys, have, you've been going through a, a bit of a trial, right? A very difficult time, many of you, and it's been been experiencing a lot of heavy energies right and we're looking forward to changing those energies uh, and so what I'm going to try to do is show you and kind of guide you and direct you on how you can how you can shift these energies your reading makes lots and lots of sense to me right with the opening energy or affirmation taking us into your reading right being health um, this is about health and balance this is about being able to, to maintain our power being able to um, to not let the, the heavy limiting energies from whatever's taking place here to weigh too heavy on us, right? And being able to maintain that balance. Really being mindful of making sure we're eating healthy, right? Eating right, eating regularly, sleeping regularly, uh, trying to create some good sleeping patterns for ourselves. Just, you know, serves Pisces very well to be mindful of your health at this particular time. Okay, so the opening energy taking us into your tarot reading is the unknown card. Right. <clears throat> I feel like the unknown card is showing up um, because right now, for many of you, you're kind of in that period of uncertainty, right? You may be actually stuck in these heavy limiting energies, um, you know, feelings, those energies of fear and worry and concern. It'll be up to you to be able to shift and to make a shift within you in order to create and bring this change into your life. Uh, but the universe is letting you know that it, it recognizes what you're feeling and experiencing, Pisces. Um, and that change awaits you. So we have the Eight of Swords uh, representing fear, worry, and concerns. And attached to this Eight of Swords is the King of Wands. So some of you may have a an air of excuse me a fire sign in your life aries leo or sagittarius right this is the energy right that is there for you pisces right whether it's your energy within you right that's just on the back burner kind of waiting waiting for this fear these worries these, these concerns to pass why so that you can let go pisces you can let go and you can move forward into your journey right taking whatever's happened, the experiences, as painful as they are, the wisdom, right, and the growth from those experiences with you and not the pain. It's Pisces. It's a forecast, and now it's all up to each and every one of us on how we choose to direct our energies, right? And the universe wants you to know that change for you can come in quickly, right? 
it's up to you to, to allow this fear, these worries and concerns to pass, right? To allow whatever this painful Three of Swords experience consisted of. Allow, just get rid of the personalization behind it, uh, as difficult as that is, and look at the growth. And there is growth because it's recognized here in the Empress card, right? Recognizing your sense of value and your worth, right? Really feeling that. And then once you're able to do that, then able to offer that, share that with everybody else. So the balanced energy with one foot in the water and one foot on dry land. So Pisces, right? Being very mindful of your balance because it's your balance that brings you the energy of the Empress. Okay, Pisces, showing up at the center of your tarot reading today is the Hermit card, the card of Virgo. Attached to this uh, Hermit card is the Three of Swords, representing heartbreak and loss. So it's possible that there could be a Virgo connected to this Three of Swords. Possible. Uh, for others, what this represents is Pisces. In order to, for some of you to, to be able to really overcome this Three of Swords, this heartbreak, loss, sadness, you may need to go inward, right? It serves you well to try to remove yourself from the fear, the worries, the pain, the grief. Go inward and ask, what, what is it about? Or what is my real takeaway from this experience? And the answer will come. And Pisces, for those of you <clears throat> where these fears and worries and concerns have affected your sleep, Right. This is the universe letting you know that you know, maybe before you close your eyes and you, you, you nod off, it serves you very well right, to look back on memories of the past, on very positive experiences. Right. And so when you're closing your eyes to rest, right, you go to you go to bed with those thoughts in your mind and those positive energies rather than limiting energies of fears and worries and concerns. And I think, Pisces, you'll notice that you'll sleep better and you'll sleep more peacefully and restfully at night. And that's kind of interesting that that came up like this, Pisces, because it's never come up like that for me before in a reading. That message seemed very clear. Okay, Pisces. So if we're able to work our way through these limiting energies, right? You're able to get your power back. Showing up here is the Emperor card, the card of Aries. Some of you may have an Aries in your life that's connected to this beautiful Ace of Pentacles beginning. And this beginning for you, Pisces, is like a breath of fresh air. And there's when you were able to start and feel this begin start, right? You're able to begin to experience the healing, right? That's coming from this Three of Swords experience. So Pisces, energy taking us out of your tarot reading is the Wheel of Fortune, change. Changes that can come into you, coming into your atmosphere, energy taking us into your reading as the unknown card, right? So I feel like this universe letting us know, Pisces, that it's up to you. It's up to you to be able to be able to work your way through these limiting energies, step into a period of life where you live in gratitude, right? Of just experiencing and feeling unconditional love and forgiveness and understanding to everybody around you, raising your vibration. So these changes that come in are positive changes, right? Higher vibrating changes. Makes sense. Okay, Pisces. Wow, you guys had a beautiful reading here. Um, and when I say beautiful, I know you guys have been going through the thick of it. I can tell in your tarot reading. But wow, it looks, it, you know, there, it works its way through. Um, it has a beautiful finish here. Anyways, Pisces, I hope these messages resonated with you. Um, hope these energies resonated with you and, and that you were able to hear your messages and that in some way, shape, or form, you found this tarot reading helpful for you on your journey, your path as you move, kind of work your way through life, work towards experiencing more joy and happiness, more love and abundance. Okay, Pisces, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Wishing you all the very best.